this is Lindsay from Equip Me OT here today to talk about putting on compression stockings. So many people use compression stockings for a variety of purposes and one of the biggest challenges I faced as an OT was helping folks figure out how they were going to be get, getting these on themselves or getting them on somebody else if they were acting as a caregiver. So today I wanted to go over two um, options for getting uh, compression stockings on. So the first one is probably the most popular version and this is a rigid compression sock donning tool made out of metal. It's a coated metal so you don't have to worry about skin tearing which is really important with any kind of edema or swelling. It's got a similar shape to just a standard sock aid but it's set certainly more rigid and capable of handling the compression of a stocking. So we're going to show you this particular tool. I have a link below for where you can find something like this. Uh, you can find it on Amazon. You can find it at just about any equipment supplier. There is an updated version of one of these that actually has an extension on it to help folks who are limited in their bending, perhaps recovering from a hip replacement or recovering from back surgery or just having a chronic condition that limits that. So I'll also post a link to that updated version, but this version works really well for our standard purposes. And I just wanted to show you how to set it up so that you're having success with it. So I have a set of compression stockings here. These are a low compression uh, over the counter stocking. So they're gonna be in the 20 to 30 range as far as compression is concerned. So not the most difficult to get on, but this can make life a lot easier. So the important thing is how you orient this tool. You want this little U-shaped piece here to be open facing away from you, just like a sock aid would be. So this part is gonna to come towards you and you've got your handles here. We're gonna set it on my lap. Uh, if you have a tabletop or a surface, you could set it on that as well, um, but it's good to have it up towards you. So you're gonna take your sock and the foot is gonna go into this and you're actually going to try to orient it so that the toes are pointing out and you're going to pull it down over this. Now, very important that you're going to keep pulling this guy until the toes. So I just, this has a, a colored heel so I can tell when the heel is out and we're going to pull that all the way down. So you can see this heel is uh, completely covering the top of this, meaning the toe is right here. So the really important thing to that is you want to make sure that your toes are at the end of the stocking before you go to pull it on. Because if you don't, then your the foot of the sock is going to be hanging off your foot and it's a real bear to try to adjust it into place. All right, so we've got that positioned. Can you see there's a hole here where you're gonna put your foot. I'm gonna grab it by its handles here. These ones have black handles on them with a little bit extra padding. And we're going to slide our foot in. Now, before I get started here, I can feel my toes are a little looser than I like them to be. So I'm just gonna pull my toes in a little bit and then we're going to pull it up. Now, this is a little long for me. So the stocking is on, the tool is out of the way. At this point, super important, always check your stockings. Make sure you don't have any wrinkles or places where it's creased or rolled over because that is where people develop pressure ulcers. So make sure your stockings are nice and smooth. There shouldn't be any wrinkles, no issues like that. Your stocking should end behind the knee. This one's a little long for me, so I'm rolling it down. You should have one that fits you properly. Um, but yeah, this looks great. So I've got my stocking on. Now, let's say you don't have this piece of equipment at home. I have a nifty little trick that you can try that requires absolutely no tools and probably stuff you have just laying around the house. So what I have here are plastic shopping bags, okay? This is a, a trick I learned working in a lymphedema clinic. Works like a charm. I have these shopping bags. The key is you want them to have handles. You want them to be relatively thin plastic, too thick, and they really are cumbersome coming through the sock. So I have this shopping bag like this. I have multiple of them because Lord knows I get a lot at the grocery store. You're gonna extend it like this. Kind of straighten it out. So handles are here. This is the bottom of the bag. I'm going to take my scissors. I'm going to cut off the end. Okay, I already did that on this one. So now what I have is a shopping bag with a hole in the end like this. So the whole bottom is cut open and the handles are on top. Okay, 
So we're going to go back to that kind of shape we did there for the holes at the bottom. We're going to take our stocking. So here's my other compression sock. The bottom is going to go towards the toe. So we're just going to drive that all the way down to the toe. And then I'm going to hold the toe while I pull my hand out so I don't actually pull this out. You want your toes to be at the bottom of the bag. And can you see here, the opening of the bag is now at the top of the stocking, okay? And we've got the two handles here. So now we're going to use the bag to help us slide it over our leg. This is extremely helpful if you tend to have stickier skin or you're trying to apply this on a, a, a damp leg, perhaps after a shower. This will help with that. You can also add a little bit of extra um, powder or something of that nature to help to make it a little bit less friction. So we're going to go ahead and do the same thing we did before. I'm going to slide our foot down. And now I can grab the handles on my grocery bag and I can pull it through. And that, look at that. Now I'm just pulling the grocery bag. And you can roll it down a little bit so it's easier to pull out. Got the hole here, just drop that down over my foot, take it off. So my stocking is on. Again, we're checking for smooth. Toes are all set. It's a pretty easy, nifty way to get a stocking on without having the equipment available to you. So if you have any questions or concerns or comments, please feel free to leave them below. And if you would consider subscribing to Equip Me OT. Thank you.